It's about that time. Okay. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't like those. I don't like those ambient sounds. Could have had a Desert Eagle, but no. We get one bullet. This one is tape. This one doesn't look wax though, that's on the bed. Just look like they were duct taped to death. So this is a psych ward of a wax museum. Maybe. Yo, is he wax too? Is he alive? Oh, wait, wait. I'll take these. The keys are made out of wax. So why the fuck would it be an option for me to take these keys? Looks pretty mean. I'm glad he's just wax. Not a real person. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say so. Let me... I have to just make sure. No. Oh, fuck. Oh, it is Miller. Miller is the right name. I thought I'd just... And look how fast this thing goes. Oh shit, now we got control of Rob. fuck am I supposed to find a fuse? Maybe I can only activate this if I get power to it. Maybe I don't need to get inside. Oh. 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 What the fuck? Holy shit, is that? Oh, is that Kieran? Why the fuck is he here? so we don't blow it. Now. Miller. Boom. A fucking genius. Here we go. Oh my god. You This ain't no shock therapy. This is just the electrocution. Bam. You can climb it. My thing is for the for those who we can possess, their bodies still have to be intact somehow on the inside. Wait, what? Salmon, what's this? I'm not sure what it is. It's too dark to see. Oh, some other type of torture chamber. That dude hanging up there. What the fuck? Who goes there? Identify yourself right now. Or, or I shall obliterate you. Uh. Oh, you could be him in disguise. Sneaking up on me. What's your name? What's my name? Uh, how the fuck am I supposed to tell you my name? I swear I'm gonna shoot you right in your ugly face if you don't tell me who you are. Go on. I just want to know your name. Tell me your name. Maybe if he tries to shoot me, he'll shoot the dead body. And then the body will who drop. Who goes there? Okay. Identify yourself right now. No, that's not the case. Oh, we can say different. 
Oh, what is my name? You can respond through the intercom. Oh, okay, 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 there we go. My name is Angie. Angie? No, it's not. Liar! Should I just say my name is Rob? My name is Rob. Rob? Yeah, I remember you, Rob. You crooked, thieving priest. You old bird. You stole my shotty, you bloody bastard. Oh, Rob, was that dude? Well, eat shit, motherfucker. Oh, shit. I'm dead. Oh, I told you that was gonna happen. Wait, he's alive? So we can possess him now and then activate this one. Oh, shit. Didn't we kill that man? How the fuck did he get here? Oh my god. Mm. There we go. Let's get... Get this shit out of my way. surgical with this. Oh, I was about to say, what the fuck did she just do? And then I realized she's shimmy, 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 turn. There's a cane right there. Or is that just me seeing that? There's a cane. Well, well, well. Just look who's here. Wait, what? Wait, why the fuck is she here? I don't want to fight with you, Jenny. Can we be friends again? About that. Look, Angie, I'm not really a good friend material. I never said I was. I'm just pissed at the whole world right now, and you're part of it, so... Yeah, I just... want to be left alone. You're suffering from withdrawal symptoms. That's why you've been such a dick. Oh, yeah? Your constant smoking reminds me of how I used to do it. So, thanks for giving me nicotine cravings. Thanks a bunch. There's nothing like a secondhand smoke when you're trying your hardest not to think about it. But it doesn't matter now. What the fuck is happening? I mean, we would all be dead. There's no way you're surviving that. Bam! I mean, that, she had her heart. Lost my words again. And that lady just folded. Oh, first of all, stop, stop, stop unequipping my axe. from unknown heights. If she's randomly here, I'm just gonna say that both Kieran and Jenny being here is an illusion. Maybe. But why the fuck would she even follow us here? Dud can't see. Oh, of course. What? That fish doesn't have a head. Oh no. Wait. Oh, wait. 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 Oh, I'm dead. Oh. Not 
that way? What? Oh, it, it. Oh, I'm fucked. What's up? Come on. Three chops. Oh. Come on, one more. gonna be another one right in front of me i knew it oh this one's gonna take four mother fucker bitch oh my god oh, oh. okay okay i've had enough what is this Uh, get out, Ram, bitch. Mm. What? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bring that shit. Come on. Come on, bitch. Come on. <clears throat> All right. Those vaginal walls just expanded. Bro, where? It's crazy how it has like that black grudge here coming off of the door. The sculptor. Oh my god. I don't have any weapons. There's no ammo. I'm fucked. I'm fucking screwed. Maybe we, we'll, we'll talk to it. We'll use our words. It always works. Fuck, turn this way. <clears throat> oh. Wow. So this is what they did last time. There's nothing to fucking shoot this guy with. No ammo. Shotgun, no ammo. Great. Great. Oh, fucking great. How do I hit... Bro, there ain't no way I'm killing you like that. That'll take forever. So I didn't even have to use that magnum last time. Come on, bitch. Come on, motherfucker. Oh. I'm dead. Oh, look at his face this time. Wait, what? Get off me. Get off me. Oh. Oh shit. Can we possess him? Oh, that would be crazy if we could. Oh, no fucking way we're about to do what I think we're about to do. We are about to do what I think we're about to do. Oh look, there's my... Oh my god, our little maggot friend thing is here. Oh my god. Oh, we're about to fuck him up. We got Miki in the building. Yeah. yeah, get fucked up. He's gonna run through that board, yep. Fucking bitch. Chase him down. Bro, that is Miki, a hundred percent. So, oh, don't run now. Don't run now. Mm-hmm. Oh, this lady got some speed. Ah. Stop his ass. Wait, motherfucker. You're supposed to stop him. This is the one that put you in there. I'm coming. I'm coming. Come here.
how's her body still standing without Migi on it? What? Jane. Oh shit, her husband. Am I? No. You're alive. You're safe now. Take a deep breath, Angie. The worst is over. At least for now. Are you really here? I think so, but... I... feel like we don't have a lot of time. I'd like to hold you in my arms one last time, just in case we wake up and find it was all just a dream. So, hear me out. The... the her, her husband could have been here at some point. That, that's actually something to wonder. Since he was sick, did he come to Burn Hill Lane? Burn House. You know what I meant? Burn House. But we've seen three motherfuckers that shouldn't be here so far. This guy. Ginny. And Kieran. Kieran isn't sick. So he shouldn't even be here. That has to be fake. I'm gonna have to refuse this hug. It's a fucking trap. It's a fucking trap. I'm sorry, but... No... I can't. It's taken me a long time to mourn you, James. I don't want to pretend that you're real just to lose you again. Yeah. It's okay. I understand. That hook should have killed me. And yet, I'm standing here talking to you and I feel no pain. How is that even possible? I'd say, even in the worst nightmare, you get to have that one time the luck's on your fucking side. Don't you think you deserve that? I killed the sculptor. I thought he'd never die, but I was faster than he. How did you get here? I'm... I, I'm not really sure. I've been away, wandering the empty streets of a city I didn't know. I was cold and lost. But then I found something, and I instantly knew that it belongs to you. I, I had to give it to you. What is it? I'll take you to it in a minute. It's a reminder that sometimes not everything's fully lost. I'm scared, James. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Man, this is not James. I used to pretend I was strong. I tried to be there for you, to support you. But when you died, it felt like I died with you. Nothing mattered to me. I was a broken fucking shell I'm sorry I didn't want did you know I got sick with cancer too yeah I'm dying and I can't even blame anyone because I did this all to myself by smoking all those fucking cigarettes I tried to end my life too that's just... Fuck's sake, Angie. Why? Why would you do that? I was so confused. But it didn't work, okay? So for now, I'm just... hanging around. Waiting. <sighs> Waiting. Yeah. I remember that. Just waiting, and waiting, and waiting. Remember how happy we used to be? I didn't think it was possible to fall for someone like that. 
like in the movies. A lonely young nurse meeting a handsome stranger. Who also happened to be her patient. We didn't care about any of that. I wish we could say the same about your matron. Yeah, but she was just jealous. She probably wanted you for herself. Oh, I looked like a fucking rock star back then, but a dying man isn't exactly the best husband material. Even for your matron. You were in remission. We thought... Well, shit happens, don't it? Yeah. Do you ever regret... Um, any of this? Getting involved with me? On the level we did? Just to get your heart broken? What sort of stupid question is that? I'm not even gonna answer that. You know, there was something about you I could not resist. It was like kissing a vampire. You know it's a terrible idea, but you do it anyway. I'll take that. But only because I love vampires. <laughs> I know you do. Shit. I wish I was a vampire now. Yeah. So do I. Vampires don't get cancer. Come with me. Yeah, I will. We've got to find a way out. <laughs> I... I can't lose you again. It was bad enough the first time. I'm so sorry. I know. But I've always said one day I'll be your get-out-of-jail-free card. And I'm here now. Just tell me one thing. How many rules are you breaking by being here? Oh, I don't know. I guess all of them. I don't want to die, James. I'm not ready for it. I found Burnhouse Lane and discovered its secrets. I can survive this. There's a cure. I've almost got it. But sometimes, deep down, I start thinking, and it feels like I've been sent on a fool's errand. All this stuff can't be real. How could it? It's fucking ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. You've said you've almost got it. It would be crazy to give up now. And what if I lose? Then we'll worry about plan B. But right now, it's time. We must go. Close your eyes and count to five. I've got a little surprise for you. Something that'll put a big smile on your face. No, I'm not closing my eyes. At least I count to three. Fuck that zero. Five. Turn around. Moonlight. 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 You were dead. Come on, Angie. Do I really have to remind you how many lives cats have? Listen, listen, listen. How would he? I had to bring him back to you as soon as I saw him. A friend you'd lost. A friend. Reborn. How would he have that He'll guide ability? us through the dark. All we need to do is follow him and stay inside his light. All right. You should know that I'm friends with darkness nowadays. Really? I'm a good girl. Doesn't scare me anymore. The darkness I'm talking about isn't just the absence of light, Angie. It's a state of mind. Brendan. Yeah, well, stay close then, or you'll make Brenda very, very angry. Do I not have a flashlight? Absolutely not. Let me take this bad boy out just in case. What the hell is that noise?
James. No. Oh, well, he just used the rest of his lives. You expect me to do that too, huh? Die. We're not surviving that. Get the fuck out of here. Someone is sleeping. The fuck could be sleeping? Like, I don't understand how we even got here. Snores sound vast. Or that is snoring must be gargantuan, unless it's the cat. Well, not our cat, but the cat. The demon one. We're just walking into. him what oh my apologies I was waiting for you and I dozed off I guess you did take a long time getting here to be fair yeah well it wasn't easy but I'm here now. Yes, welcome. Did you really have to drag me down here? This place is... Hell. It's dark and it's warm. That's what cats like the most. Well, I'm not a cat. And I hate it. I did what you asked. Can I go home now? I... Honestly thought you'd give up by now. But you are a persistent one. Four tasks completed. What can I say? Impressive. But you're not quite done yet. Mm, I don't know if we should say that. He, I mean, that thing could put us in our place real quick. Mm, thanks. It's time for the final task. Are you ready for it? No, but give it to me anyway. Then listen carefully. You must tell someone the whole truth about yourself. The good and the bad. And all the dirt. Like you would to a best friend. If you had one, of course. But you can't hide anything. It won't work if you do. Why? What's the point of this? You must rid yourself of all this baggage. You people hold on to it for way too long. I'd really rather face another serial killer. You don't mean that. I just feel no connection to any of those fools. How can I open my heart to them? They don't give a flying fuck about me. They're all flawed, that's for sure. But that's just a... human thing, isn't it? You're all broken inside, always looking for another war to wage. Try to let go of that for a moment. 
I'm sure that if you take a good look around, you can find someone who will lend a friendly ear. Well, even if I do, how will I know if I've told him everything? You'll know because once it's done, a man called Mr. Fox will arrive at the farm. Let him in. He'll be so hungry he could eat a horse. Offer him food, but never speak to him. Do you understand? You cannot say even a single word to Mr. Fox or... Well, just don't. He's very peculiar about it. Well, that's gonna be super awkward. Yes, well... There's that, and then there's dying of cancer. I know. I'm just saying. At least I won't say the wrong thing for once. Once Mr. Fox is fed, he will go, and you will follow him to a place on the moors. He'll show you a spot where you must dig a hole and recover a treasure buried underground. With that in your possession, you will finally be able to remove the illness from your body. Oh, he will also require a drop of your blood, so don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, I got it. I think. Good. Go back now, get some rest. You're gonna need it. Richard! Why the fuck is the horse here? Go on, hop on his back. He won't bite. He's here to take you home. Yeah, we're really rotting him. So does everything sick come here? And I mean, shit, if you're sick, you automatically go to hell. Like, can we go to the nice sick place? If we get sick, we go to seventh heaven. I'll actually become white and have a mother and a father in the same home. is can this fine horse gallop it sure can <laughs> 